Veterans Day, though, means even more here in Kentuckiana. It was finally the groundbreaking of the new VA medical complex in eastern Jefferson County, a project, as you know, with controversy that we have been covering for more than 15 years. Despite legal challenges and fighting over the location, the time has come to build. After all, as WHS 11's Rachel Droge shows us, the new VA medical hospital is aimed at bringing better medical care to our veterans. Construction is officially underway on the nearly billion dollar VA Medical Center located off of Brownsboro Road next to the Watterson Expressway. The governor mentioning the long history of controversy surrounding traffic congestion. Yes, as construction comes up, there may be inconvenience, but to be able to provide the very best for those that have served us makes it all worth it. Contractors and construction crews working to transform this empty field into this. A roughly 1 million square foot state of the art medical facility built to serve those who served our country. What better way to celebrate Veterans Day than to be breaking ground on the future of VA health care. Ranking Republican Senator Mitch McConnell and Democratic Congressman John Yarmuth both in attendance for the groundbreaking ceremony. While no government program can fully repay the great debt we owe, by breaking ground on this project today, we're taking a meaningful step toward fulfilling our sacred obligation to our nation's heroes. There are no more important responsibilities than caring for those who put on a uniform in support of our country. Yarmouth pointing out the VA announced the new Louisville facility when he was running for his first term in Congress in 2006. So here we are, 15 years later, uh, finally breaking ground on that new hospital. McConnell mentioning shovels are now going in the ground after the congressman announced he's ending his career in Washington. Now he's announced his retirement <laughs> and we're finally getting started, John. In addition to a 104-bed full-service hospital and new patient-centered care services the VA says isn't possible now because of how the existing VA hospital is built, the new Louisville VA Medical Center will include a women's health clinic. Which will serve and honor our women's veterans that do not often get the attention they deserve. The project is expected to be complete in 2026. In Louisville, Rachel Droz, WHAS 11 on your side. Now, here's a look tonight at some of the long history of debate and controversy over the new VA Medical Center site. More than 15 years ago, as you know, a federal commission recommended that the VA replace the 1950s era medical complex, which still sits at Zorn Avenue and River Road. And at one point, downtown Louisville was the favorite new location, but veterans groups said no. They thought downtown was too difficult to navigate with parking and concerns for their safety. Ironically, the 34-acre site, which has been picked for Brownsboro Road, is still one of the most congested traffic locations in Louisville. However, there have been improvements to the Waterson Expressway and other roadways since then. Neighbors did fight the location and many veterans opposed the selection of this site. The other controversy that dogged the project, the government paid millions more for the land over its appraised estimate.